beautiful people and welcome to Kisty's Lounge, guys. Well, I look good. I feel good. And if you were here, you would know that I smell good too. Yes. As you all know, I can't do nothing without my tea. So just give me a hot minute, you know, so I can rejuvenate myself, you know. Just how I like it. Thank you, man. Anyways, guys, uh, first of all, big up to everybody who has been coming to my social media and telling me congratulations on the show. For you who are telling me you love the show, I love you guys too. You guys are amazing. Make sure you go to our social media pages, which is Kisty's Lounge on Facebook, Kisty's Lounge on Instagram. For now, those are the two you have to look at, all right? But we are coming with more. First of all, I have a segment called Ask Kisty, and this is for you guys to be involved, right? So if you go on the page, you will see where you have to ask Kisty. You can ask Kisty any questions, any question go, as long as you don't ask me if I have real teeth, eh? <laughs> Anyways, yes, you can ask us anything on our Facebook page, go on the page and you see where you can ask Kisty and guess what? I'll answer all your questions right here on the couch. How about that, yes? Anyways, guys, this week, uh, this week has been kind of boring. I felt like I needed to what to drink extra, extra coffee or what to, I don't even know, but I don't know because it was, it didn't settle with me this week. I, I had some, I felt bad. I felt pissed about something. And that is because I was trying to look for outfits and I couldn't find any outfits, guys. Nobody wanted to dress me. And I'm wondering why. I mean, I thought I was a big deal, you know, hmm. I should get up. But, the good thing is, I had my little bubble monies. I had to go, you know, all over Kabbalah Gala to look for outfits. And I think I did good, guys. Don't you think? I like my shirt anyways. But you know, we're here at Kisty's Lounge. We keep it going. We keep it moving. No complaining. It's all about love. So you designers, I'm waiting for you. Eh? You come and, you know, put your nice rugs on me and I'll make them look mwah. Fantabulous, all right? So let's support each other because you support me, I support you, we all make money. Remember, channel you is viewed all over East Africa. If you didn't know that, that's how we do it, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, moving on. Um, one thing is, really didn't settle me when I started the show. There's a certain artist that I, I asked for an interview. And guess what, guys? This person asked me for money. Are we supposed to ask, uh, are celebrities supposed to ask us for money, for interviews? No? I mean, somebody asked me for interviews. I don't know if, it's, uh, if it is Corona, but uh, somebody was asking me for money for an interview. I mean, back in the days when I still used to do my show, back in the days, I never used to really charge anybody for interviews. They never used to charge me for interviews. But now apparently, I'm not a big deal anymore. They were asking me for money for interviews. And I think, I think that's pretty crazy. I mean, you can tell me if you want, or you can go on my social media page and let me know. But I don't think it's cool for an artist to ask a presenter for money. Because you doing me a service, I'm doing you a service, and I feel like I'm doing you more of a service because I'm on TV every week. So if I'm talking about you, if people are on my page, just know you're gonna be getting a new following, my followings that didn't even know you. So please, guys, let's do this. Let's stop asking people for money. It's not all about money because money is actually the least part of it. But people in Uganda, all they think about, you tell them one little thing, center maker, one little thing, center maker. Come on, guys. All right? Anyways, I'm not going to spend so much time on that because here in uh, Kisses Lounge, we're not all about complaining. We're all about the love. And right now, I just want to send some love to one beautiful lady, Jackie Chandiru. Now, one reason why I decided to talk about Jackie Chandiru because Jackie Chandiru has been through a lot. You all know what she's been through. And uh, me being a friend of hers, I used to work with her. We did a show together one time and, you know, we kind of got to know each other. And she's such a great performer, by the way. I feel like she's one of the best performers we have here in Uganda. And you can tell me if you think I'm wrong, but I think I'm right because she is amazing. And guys, she is back with a bang. She's back performing. She looks healthy. She looks beautiful. So, 
Jackie, we are so happy to have you back. I'm waiting for you on the couch, you know that, yeah? I need your Kisties Lounge, beautiful. But we love you and we send you so much love from the Kisties Lounge. And um, moving on, I want to show another girl some love who's actually stood by her grounds regardless of what happened to her. Now, this is a model called Doreen Kabarebe. Doreen Kabarebe, a few years, I think four or five years back, uh, some pictures of her in nude or nude pictures of her surfaced, right? And when they surfaced, they went everywhere. Everyone's saying, blah, 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 the slick queen, da, 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 da. you know, and then she went low for a little bit because, you know, when your nudes come out, you all know what happens. You know, you've got to kind of keep it low for a minute. Some people get famous off nude pictures, by the way, because I know some people who are really famous because of their nudes, but some people, you know, some people, you know, kind of have to hide because it kills your career, it kills your image. But this girl, I like how she bounced back from this. You know, she's like, okay, look, my nudes came out, but I'm going to own up to it and I'm going to continue with my modeling thing in a nude way, right? If you go on her social media, Doreen Kabarebe on Instagram, she took some juicy pictures. Uh, I think she was doing a photo shoot with Nina Mirembe, who's the swimsuit girl, right? Man, who I've never seen such a tall girl with such heat. Her body is just amazing. I'm just going to say it's amazing because she's tall. She got calves. She has everything. I thought I told people we just have long legs and nothing else. But this girl has long legs. She got a nice booty. She, oh, man. Anyways, Doreen, you are so beautiful. You are owning your curves. And you know what, Ugandans? We are not in 19 Daniel anymore. Stop telling people to, oh, you showing too much skin on TV. You think the production managers don't see that they're showing too much skin? No. People just love to show what they got, all right? As long as you don't see my coochie, you don't see my breasts, then we good, right? You don't see my boobs, do you? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. But guess what, guys? I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm not on drugs like some people think. I'm just hype, you know? I'm just Robin Kisty, and I love what I do. Anyways, guys, I need to breathe a little bit. Uh-huh. So another thing that I wanted to talk about was the beautiful couples that are coming up. Oh, you guys, don't you like my lounge though? <laughs> Anyways, so there's some beautiful couples that I just want to talk about. This is, you know, this is a segment where we, you know, we talk about the beautiful couples before they break up. <laughs> you know, everybody, I didn't have your you say me. I'm not going to wait for you know say. I'm going to recognize these couples while they're still together. And there's a very international couple that I think is really cute. I've been following them on social media. And that's this Nigerian role, Timmy, who was in power, for those who used to watch Power. And with uh, Vanessa MD, the, the Tanzanian beautiful girl. Man, that couple is so cute. They live in Atlanta at the moment. And um, they're just so much in love. And me watching them just makes me want to gush over. I'm just gushing. I wish, you know. Anyways, <laughs> hey, congratulations to you guys. You guys are so beautiful. And coming back here to you in Uganda, we have another beautiful new couple, uh, Fabiola and her man. I don't know his name. But, uh, but yeah, you guys look so cute. You guys look out for that couple. They're cute. Also, another cute couple is Cindy and Prince. Yes, they are engaged. Cindy got a ring on it. You know, so... She's not a single lady no more, okay? She's not a single lady. So all those guys who think, you know, yeah, the king herself has been taken. Yes, she is gone, kaput. Anyways, guys, um, this week, like I told you, was so boring. There was not much to talk about. There was not much to see. But guess what? Here at Kisses Lounge, we always make it a point that we give you a good time. Again, go on our Facebook page and go on the Ask Kisty button, all right? Because... I'll have things to talk about. You guys will ask me something and I'll be able to talk about it right here on the couch. Make sure you follow our um, Facebook page and make sure you keep watching. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with Real Talk.